Growing up back in Newfoundland, we had something called totens, and it was only fried up bread dough. So every time mom made bread, we used to beg her to take some of the dough and fry it up for us. And that's what this is. This one here is just going to be a basic totin. It's just fried bread dough. These are actually stuffed. There's a little bit of uh, tomato sauce and summer sausage and cheese. I didn't bother showing the uh, stuffing. But we're just going to throw a little bit of oil in the pan. It's nice to have oil and butter. The pan is almost ready to go. And I'm not too worried about how much oil it is because you almost want to do a, a little shallow fry. Now, a little more butter. This is just salted butter. Swirl it around. So for the totin itself, this is just basic bread dough. And this is from turbo recipe from artisan bread with steve he's got a great channel with all breads and i'll leave a link in the description pull it out put a hole in the middle of it and drop it in like i see these are stuffed so they're probably going to leak a little bit what odds i'm not too worried about it but they're going to rise in the pan They won't be pretty, but they will be good. We're not worried about pretty here. And totems themselves are very fantastic with any kind of a, like a baked bean or we used to eat from a jigs dinner. And again, it's so simple. Keep an eye on them. Got a minute to brown. And again, they will rise in the pan. Just starting to rise already. You can see the dough rising up. And they're starting to brown. See how much has risen already? They're starting to brown. I don't want to move that around too much. I don't want to break it open. But a lot of people are scared of making bread, and there's nothing to it. I mean, this is a basic turbo recipe. It's got four ingredients. It's flour, yeast, salt, and water. You mix them all together, let it proof for a couple of hours. And I usually just put it back in the fridge when I'm, uh, whatever's left over. And you can reuse it for a couple of days. And I find when dough is a little bit older, it actually gets a yeah, better flavor to it. Almost ready. This one is ready to turn. Oh, not quite. Perfect. Squish them down just a little bit, very gently. And they'll rise back up. 
As you can see, they've risen quite a bit. A little bit of salt. Now back home, we used to fry this up in pork fat, salted pork fat, but for a lot of people today, it's a lot of salt. And I'm getting older, I can't handle that much salt anymore. But these are delicious. You can put them in syrup, you can use jam, or like me, I just prefer to eat them like they are. So these are more like a pizza pocket. Almost ready to go. And they are pretty much ready. So, put these out. So, the tote itself it's cooked. 